everyone welcome to our channel today i'll tell you how to connect a hoverboard motor to a e-bike controller so the hoverboard motor is actually a 36 volts 350 watt capacity motor and uh, you can see uh, i've opened the hoverboard and uh, there are two wires coming out of this is the hall sensor wire which is having power black and red and the three of the phase input and these three are the power three phase wire of the coil motor coil now what things we require is this is the battery which is comes with the overboard 36 volts 4.4 ampere R. okay now we need a controller so this is a general 36 volt 48 watt 48 volt 350 watt controller it is having 10 sets of connections but we don't need all this i'll tell you what we have to connect so this is the first set of wire this is the phase wire of the motor which will go into the phase wire of the motor here okay next is the see this is the hall sensor wire in original it was like this but it is not compatible with the overboard uh, motor so I have modified it and I cut the another extension of this which was like this I have cut it to get this connector out of there and then I have extended the cable and soldered it like this we have to maintain the color codes on the wire throughout up to this end so this is the another set which is the hall sensor now the another important is the battery so this is again battery this power was like this with the controller I have cut it and I got this cut this to and got this connector from here so along with this there is one more red color cable which is called the ignition so ignition has to be connected with the red color wire and that is the positive 36 volt otherwise your uh, it will be not enabled controller will not be enabled in this case so red uh, thin red wire has to be connected to the ignition wire has to be connected to the red one here and last what we need is throttle so i don't have the throttle with me so i had i have a potentiometer with me so these three wire red green and black this is the 5 volt this is the ground this is the variable voltage so i have connected the potentiometer now we are ready now we can connect the connections of the motor of the connector of the controller okay first of all this one then this these two that's it so let's do it all sensor is connected now now we will connect one by one this three so yellow will go with the yellow blue will go with the blue and green will go with the green okay okay so done yellow is with yellow blue is with blue green is with green now the only thing is remaining is the power connection so this is the power connection this two has to be joined like this 
now all the connections are done so now we can run the motor there is the potentiometer so let's see Congratulations. These two wires is for the reverse. 